Hey everybody, we are looking at a bag of new fish. I have not gotten new fish in about a year and a half, or at least well over a year. I don't know if it's exactly been a year and a half or not, but it's been a long time. And today, I went down House of Tropicals and I made up for it. So, this is probably not going to be the best look at these under the circumstances. But that is a little tiny white angelfish that is going to be for the 20 gallon tank in my wife's room i just took the angelfish that was in that tank out and put it in my garami tank it was getting a little too big for that small tank and so now we got another little baby angelfish to start growing out in there hopefully it'll be able to stay in there its whole life uh, it's not a veil tail so it should be uh, fairly compact and be able to do okay in that small tank um, these are i want to say pristel Tetras, it's something like that. I can't remember the name. Prestel, I want to say, again, is the only thing that's really come into my mind. But these are a type of Tetra that had about six different colors on them when I was looking at them in the store. And now, of course, because of the drive home, and they've been in this bag for well over an hour now, they are getting a little stressed out. I also got blue and red Colombian Tetras. I'm not 100% sure where these are going to go yet but I guess they're red and blue Colombian Tetras. Blue and red, red and blue. Beautiful fish, can't wait to see those color back up. I also got some Japanese blue Endlers, three of those. These are really pretty, I'm excited about them. I also got three green El Tigre Endlers, and I'm really excited about these. These are stunning. Still not 100% sure where all these fish are going just yet, but I do know where this last one's going. And while its color is completely faded, this is my favorite out of the batch. And it is another angelfish. It's a smoky colored angelfish. Again, it's uh, not anything special. It's just out of the uh, veil. So this one is gonna develop those long fins. But when it was in the store in the tank, it had this beautiful, beautiful, rich, smoky color to it. And so when its coloration comes back, that one's going to be stunning. And that's going in my 29 uh, miscellaneous. And I, again, I'm not really sure where uh, most of those fish are going to go. I know that little white angelfish is from my wife's tank. And that smoky angelfish is from a 29. And then we'll see where everything else goes. So there you go. That's my big score for today, everybody. Make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss where all these fish are going to end up. They're making their way into quarantine now. I may have to set up a couple of buckets with some air stones or something. I don't think all those are going to fit in one 10-gallon tank. But we'll see how that goes. All right, everybody. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.